Greetings and welcome to another video. It's Friday the 16th of July 2021 and at the moment the time is about 8pm in the evening. Um, this is just a video about what happened to me today regarding uh, a COVID-19 test I had this morning and contacting uh, the NHS COVID-19 helpline which is 119. Now this morning I turned up to work at uh, just before 8am this morning along with most other co-workers as normal and we were told that two co-workers had just been tested positive for COVID-19 and as a result we're now self-isolating. So naturally, that left the rest of us to ask, okay, what's going on? Uh, we've been working with these people for the past few days. Um, what's happening for us now? To which the managers said to us, we've set up um, COVID-19 tests here on site. There'll be, everyone here on site today will have a COVID-19 flow test. We'll have a COVID-19 flow test and um, what we decide to do next will depend on how each of you staff gets on with your results. Okay, so everyone was like, okay, fair enough. Um, and we were all like split into small groups, uh, separated into separate rooms around the building and we all had our COVID-19 flow test and I came back with a negative COVID-19 test this morning and so did everyone else. Um, basically everyone who was on site at work this morning uh, came back with a negative COVID-19 test um, and we all registered our results into the NHS Track and Trace app, which we had in our phones. So I thought, okay, fine, no worries. Because of all that, the managers allowed us on site to continue with our work as normal, and we just got on with our day, all safe and sound. Um, at 12 noon, the afternoon shift turned up, and they went through the same process, getting uh, flow tested and as far as I know they all came back with a negative test as well so brilliant um, as such work went on as normal um, there was practically no work to do today it was a very 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 quiet day to the point that most of us uh, got, got out of work early um, I came home did my laundry uh, did a few of the random odd jobs as well and yeah good times beautiful weather as well but then at about 6 p.m 6 30 p.m um things went a bit off course shall we say when i noticed my nhs track and trace app notify me of an update um and the update was because I had come in contact with someone who had tested positive for COVID-19, I myself had to uh, self-isolate for the next nine days. Now, there was zero text message. There was zero phone call from the NHS about this. It was just the app uh, just saying this, okay? And... Considering that only a few hours ago this morning, I put in a negative test for COVID onto the app. Um, I was like, well, bloody hell, what's going on? Um, and I telephoned the NHS COVID-19 helpline 119 seeking advice. And I got through to a very friendly uh, lady, very uh, friendly lady who helped me get the answers I was looking for. Now, the first question I asked was, considering 
only this morning at about eight o'clock this morning, 9 a.m. this morning, I had a negative test result and everyone at work was allowed to do their day as normal, carry on as normal, and it was all registered onto the app. And as I said, I had zero text message or phone call from the NHS about this. What do I do with what the app is telling me, giving me this false report, as far as I know, this false ping? And the lady checked her information, spoke to her manager, and from the manager himself, got feedback saying, um, I don't need to isolate for nine days. I don't need to do what the app is telling me to do, basically. So I thought, okay, fantastic, brilliant. Uh, I can go back to work next week and everything else. Um, I can go, no doubt, no doubt I'm going to have to uh, get another flow test over the weekend, you know, test myself again. Um, and no doubt I'm going to get another negative result, but I was already pre already prepared for doing that anyway, so yeah. So my next question to the uh, NHS helpline was, considering that I had a negative COVID-19 test only today, and that if I do another test over the weekend, I will no doubt presumably get another negative COVID-19 test. Can I change the advice somehow that the app is giving me? Can I, you know, get, can I stop it telling me to isolate for nine days and go back to green? Um, if I understand qu correctly, the 119 helpline said uh, we don't know basically we're not sure about that um I was like, okay that's fine but considering you just told me anyway i don't need to isolate considering i had a negative test this morning anyway that probably doesn't matter so much uh my next question was uh how is it that this app gave me a false ping anyway despite my negative result and they checked her information and according to it was clear that uh the lady i spoke to brought up information on her computer screen in front of her and it boils down to the fact that the nhs app is undergoing an update or an upgrade um and the reason that's doing an up an upgrade an update is to take into consideration uh the fact that government advice and government guidance regarding COVID-19 has been updated and changed. And it was like, well, and that's probably, maybe, the cause, or has something to do with me getting a false ping. A uh, false information telling to isolate when I don't need to. I was like, okay, um, that's annoying, that's very, very, very annoying, but I can't do anything about that if that turns out to be true. Um, so my final question was, okay, we've pretty much established I don't need to isolate because of my negative COVID-19 test, uh, and even if I do get, which no doubt, no doubt I'll be getting another negative result back over the weekend, um, when I organise another flow test. So with that in mind, what do I do to ensure that my false report my false ping on my app does not go on to tell other people's apps and their phones to isolate what do i do to prevent other people being told to self-isolate when they don't need to self-isolate what do i do to stop my false report my false ping creating false supports and false pings on other people's NHS track and trace apps. Um, to which the response was, they don't know. Um, it's entirely on my shoulders, 100% my responsibility to decide what to do. Um, Alright, uh, so either, at the moment, I can either... 
uh, turn off my Bluetooth or I can leave my phone at home and just take with me a Tesco Pays Go phone with me as for the next nine days. Um, most likely I'll do option two, take a second, take a Pays Go phone, Tesco phone with me. Um, in which case, uh, I'll obviously tell certain people what that phone number is. I'm not going to tell everyone that phone number because I don't want that phone number to become common knowledge. It's just an emergency phone number, basically. Uh, but, yeah, um, if I, I'll tell a couple of people what that number is as a precaution. Uh, but either way, those are my options. But like I said, the 119 NHS COVID-19 helpline told me that whatever I do decide to do with this situation is to prevent false pings spreading it's entirely my responsibility and mine alone so no doubt when it comes to people watching this video uh my co-workers at work check your app um no doubt get in contact with the uh nhs COVID 19 helpline 119 tell them everything i've said in this video that your co-workers had this false ping for support You've had your negative result. Uh, hopefully you'll get the exact same information I was given from the helpline. helpline. Um, worth double checking. Definitely worth double checking. As for everyone else uh, watching this video who obviously I don't work with. And whatever your situation, wherever you are within the United Kingdom. Um, be advised that... I've had a false ping, a false support, and if it's happened once, there's always a possibility it's going to happen again and over and over. So, um, if you've not had, just I'd, I would suggest, as a precaution, just to protect yourself more so than anything else, um, go in for another COVID-19 test. Uh, hopefully it'll come back negative. And obviously get the official text message or whatever it is confirming your negative result. And then if you've got the app, just watch that with suspicion. Be a bit suspicious about your app, what happens next. And if, again, it does to you what it's done to me, gives you a false ping, a false report to, telling you to isolate, get onto the COVID-19 uh helpline explain the situation and just follow what the helpline tells you to do don't rely on if you've just had an actual if you've had your result back from an actual test double check it with a helpline double check everything with a helpline don't rely on entirely on the app i mean obviously take seriously what the app is telling you Take it very seriously, but double check everything. That's my point. That's what I'm telling you. Double check everything, right? Especially if you've just had, like me, a negative result, but the app's telling you something different. Double check everything. That's what the helpline is there for, to actually help you out, get things organised, and make sure that you're given the correct information at all times. So, yeah. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is end this video here. Thank you everyone for watching. Um, I do appreciate it. I'm now going to go off, get something to eat, get some dinner and all that. Um, I'm going to share this video around, make sure people see it. But like I say, be advised for false pings from the app. Double check everything. Basically. Um, yeah, but according to the helpline, I'm okay to carry on my life as normal. Uh, and yeah, I'm okay to carry on my life as normal. Get a second test sorted, just to be sure, just to be safe. Job done. Good time situation. 
But like I say, um, I'll see you all soon in the next video, whenever that happens to be. In the meantime, take care, be safe, have a fantastic weekend, um, and look after yourselves, everyone. Take care and goodbye.